Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. And I feel like at this point there's waiting for the next available star to become available. But before we get into the video, what I want to do is, um, I, I want to tell you guys my, my plan here. So what I want to do is I want to build around Jalen Brunson. Julius Randle might be trading down the line to the RJ Bear. I just want to build around those three guys to see what they can do because I feel like it's a very big, big, I feel like it's a very good big three. So going into our player progression here, we got Jalen Brunson going up to a 90 overall, which is great. RJ Barrett going up, IQ going up. I moved into the point guard, and then we got Quentin Grimes going up, Isaiah Hertenstein going up, with Miles McBride going going up one and then Evan Fournier going uh, down one so what I did is I moved him in quickly to the point guard position so I can back up Jalen Brunson and then either Quentin Grimes or Dante DiVincenzo will start we also got RJ Barrett, Josh Hart, Julius Randle, Isaiah Roby I would love to upgrade that backup power forward position to Isaiah Hertenstein and Mitchell Robinson so here we go I'm just gonna go ahead and advance to the next season your rotation is Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, I mean, quickly, Josh Hart, not even Tenzo, Isaiah Hurtenstein, and then Jericho Sims. I want to get him in the rotation, or even like Malcolm Bat or something, but I'm just going to bring a nine man. No need to play two centers at the same time. So I'm thinking about starting Dante DiVincenzo over Quentin Grimes. We're just going to leave it the way it is. He might start sometime in the season. And then what? Um, there's one more thing I want to do here. We're going to have Jalen Brunson um, mentor him in quickly so he can be the best player he can possibly can. I put all his best badges in. I put his best three badges and we're going to Jalen Brunson mentor him in quickly. Yes, there we go. Now it is time to simulate to the end of the season. We might step up the deadline to upgrade the backup power forward position, actually. So we are stepping up the trade deadline, 27 and 27 with a sixth seed right now. I want to go ahead and make a trade for a backup power forward, like I said. So I have one guy in mind that would be just the perfect addition that you can want on any contender team. That that I would want him, and that is the Army Heat power forward, Caleb Martin here. He is playing outstanding here, averaging 16 points per game, shooting 38% from three. He would be the perfect back with small forward for this team, and maybe the Heat give him up for this um for basically nothing so they have you know Kevin Love, Nicole Lee over here with Highsmith they maybe they want to open up some minutes for him so may, I'm, I'm gonna trade from here I know it sounds crazy but I'm gonna offer Isaiah Hertzstein here he is a very very good backup center here the reason why I'm offering him is because we have Jericho Sims he is the next man up to be our backup center so that's why um I know it says he's 72 overall but he's actually like the same overall as Isaiah Hertzstein that's why I'm, I'll be okay with him Every, everyone else is low-key like off limits because they they wouldn't be able to match up their money anyway only player I would be okay with trading is like Evan Fournier but I'm gonna but but I have another player Let's see what the Miami Heat say to this. Honestly, they might want some more center depth. Um, they got Thomas Bryan, Omer. Maybe they want some more center depth here. They can also move in power forward. I don't know, but rough. We're rough in the Isaiah Hurtenstein. What do you say, Miami Heat? And they counter it. They want Josh Hart for Duncan Robinson. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they're. I don't know what they're trying to do here. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll be okay if offering you like Miles McBride or like Paul. So I'll offer you Miles McBride, and then you give me like your worst player in the team. I'm um, pretty. pretty you don't want to give away Hame, so hey, what high Smith? Um, how do you say about that? They don't agree, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to get to a first, but I might have to. I'll offer a couple seconds, and they still don't agree. I'll offer you like one or two more second round picks. We got a lot of picks and um future first round picks, so I'll offer you one more second. What do you say? Then I'll be I might want a first round pick for Caleb Martin, which I really don't want to do that. Um, we're gonna keep uh Miles McBride out of the trade. See if we can do that. I'm just gonna offer Caleb Martin for then. We're gonna offer a 2028 first round pick to start value. They they decline, so they obviously value Caleb Martin very very high because because they don't want to give him up early. Three seconds, all few one more second. What do you say? They are coming close to agreeing, but try not to get the offering too. Let's go back to um let's go back to that Miles McBride thing. So Miles McBride for um Haywood Highsmith. So what do they say now? And they still don't want they don't want to give Haywood Highsmith. So I mean I don't want to give up another two first for Caleb Martin. That'll be just too much. But we can also like flip a player for like a, another first round pick, so I'll be okay if offering to end twenty seven as well. So all this for the one player, what do you say? They don't agree, so they're getting close, obviously.
gonna offer a couple seconds, see what you say now, what do you say, and then finally agree, you know, I, I think we have a, a, a lot, too much for Caleb Martin, but we finally got him on our team, that was my big addition. You can see why they wanted a lot for him because you um we, we all know he, he he's averaging around um 15 points. He's playing very good here, so we finally get Caleb Martin. It took a lot. Um, if if that wasn't probably gonna work, I was probably gonna just leave it and then try and go for someone else. But I'm gonna give Derrico Sims the full backup center job here. I don't know if he's gonna get any minutes really. No, he's probably not. But that is okay. So what we're gonna do here for now is we're gonna go ahead and trade away Evan Fournier for a couple like picks or two. So Cork. Miles, PJ Tucker, no, thank you. We can get Taylor Jr. here. Um, that would be an absolute steal. Looks like they want to get off of his contract for some reason, but I'm not gonna do that. Feel like I don't, I don't know why the Hornets would do that. There's not many good offers here. So if like the Orlando Magic could take on, like, um, let's see who can take on him. So I'm gonna talk to the, to the Orlando Magic about Evan Fournier or trading him to you. So they obviously can't take him on. So. Like, I, I, I want to just trade on release him. I want to get at least something for Evan Fournier because we all know they're trying to trade him in real life. So let's see what we can get for him. I only want to take on a player for him. Like, Kyle Lowry's contract, it, it's just, I, I don't want to do that. So, like, Brandon Boston, Marcus Morris, I might have to do that. But um, Evan Fournier, Marcus Morris, salary matches up. So um, I'll, I'll be, like, Charles Bassey. Um, yeah, um... If um if Jericho Sims doesn't work out here, we're sending Evan Fournier for Charles Bassey and a second round pick. To see if they yeah they agree. So we go ahead and um we get rid of Evan Fournier's contract and we also get Kayla Martin at the trade deadline. It's like they they were um definitely very good trade here. I feel it's a very good trade and now I'll simulate the end of this season. Most improved player is John Morant. I mean, MVP is John Morant. Rookie of the Year win Bon Yama. Nick McCollum for me, Victor, Jonathan Kaminga, and Coach of the Year is Quinn Snyder. So, I know that Killer Martin trade wasn't the best trade I possibly could have done. We're the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference here. I, 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 don't, I don't think that was the best trade, but I will make up for it. Trust me. We got 25 from Jalen Russell, 24 from Julius Randle, 18 from RJ Barrett, um, 13 from Killer Martin, shot around, let's see, 3%, 30, I mean, um, um, yeah, yeah, 39 percent from B, so 13 from Quickly, 11 from Quentin Grimes, 8.5 from Devin Chanto, 7 from Josh Hart, 7 from Mitchell Robinson, and 4 from Charles Bass, he was 0.7 from Jericho Sam, so, gotta play the 76ers there, yet to trade James Harden, so he is still on the team. James Harden, Terrence Maxey, Tobias Harris, William Gunn, Joel Embiid, um, DeAnthony Melton, Mo Bamba, Terrence Davis, Patrick Beverly, Josh, well, Primo, haven't heard that name in a while, but it's gonna seem like current round against Philadelphia, we sweep them, so, I'm pretty sure Embiid, he's going to request a trade. So they want to start DiVincenzo, which I guess I'll do it here. Um, I would shrink our rotation, but I, but I don't want to keep Josh Hart out of the rotation. So now we got to play even tougher opponent in the Boston Celtics. So Brogdon, Jalen Brown, Chris Asperzingas, Robert Williams, Derek White, Al Horford, Sam Houser, and Brissett. So their bench kind of gets worse. But here we go. Game one, they take game two, game three. Three. Yeah, that's just the Boston Celtics. Yeah, they're too good in 2K. So they go on to win the um, they go to the finals, and the Celtics don't want to win the championship. MVP is Jalen Brown. So um, going into the lottery, we are projected um the number one overall pick in the draft. So honestly, I did not expect that. So we're just gonna go ahead and watch this here. Um, and it's gonna take too long. So we go. What pick do we get? We get pick. We we fall all the way down to one to five. Great. So we get pick five in the draft, which is actually I kind of hate it, man. Um, I, I would love to get a higher draft pick, but it's okay. We get pick five, I guess. Tom Dibido, I'll give you one more chance. So here we go. It's gonna go into the NBA draft here, or actually, this is a pretty valuable pick. Pick five right here. So the Pistons pick. Very valuable, valuable pick here. So I was maybe we could go ahead and trade it, but we don't have any players in our contract release, so it's not gonna be good. So we're just gonna go ahead and go hop into the draft here. So we get pick five. So Matt Buzelis is still on the board. That's gonna I don't think he's gonna fall that low. So we're not gonna snag him up. Donovan, we got Justin Edwards, Isaiah Collier. What do we need the most here? We're gonna see right now. So. A center is necessary if you want to move move on from Mitchell Robinson, Julius Randle, Caleb Martin. Power forward position is fine for now. Small forward, shooting guard, um, shooting guard. So either center, shooting guard. Let's see, what we get so Donovan. Um, 
we got just no one's Isaiah Collier. I'm thinking about taking Isaiah Collier, but I don't want to trade quickly. I mean, we could take Collier and trade quickly down the line. We could take like a Justin Edwards for the shooting guard position. So I, uh, so eventually I decided to take Aaron Bradshaw. Then we're also gonna, um, we're also gonna accept AJ Johnson, Dylan Mitchell. Then we also drafted Alex Sar. So a team of player options, Quentin Grimes accepts his team option with Caleb Martin declining. Jericho Sims are gonna accept, then Bassey I'm actually gonna decline. So going into our qualifying offers, we're gonna extend Emmanuel Quickly's qualifying offer here, and then we got some free agents to worry about. Emmanuel Quickly, Josh Hart, Caleb Martin, Isaiah Roby. So um these these three guys I want back on our team. So we're gonna extend Caleb Martin. We're gonna, gonna give him his contract for three years, probably four. We can give him even four. We're gonna give him four, and then. Then um, quickly gonna have to wait till um, monitoring was over. Then Josh Hart also want to give him a contract, um, the contract that he deserves. So gotta give them both a contract. Then we're gonna um, and then we're gonna wait on quickly. And then I'm not gonna match any of these contracts really. So we're just gonna bring back Caleb Martin and Josh Hart. We're gonna wait on quickly till monitoring is over. So um, Jericho Sims is now. I don't think he's a free agent in no weeks after them. Okay, so then quickly we're gonna go ahead and give him his money here. I'll go ahead and give him 20 million per five years or four years, but that's fair. I'll give him five. So here we go. He's gonna bring back quickly now to his contract that we should be fine. Um, I'm thinking about trading Julius Randle, but I'm not gonna do it yet. So, um, we got Quinn Quinn Grimes and nothing even chance though. I wouldn't mind signing one more shooting guard. I don't want to sign like, a good one, just a one that can maybe come in once someone falls out, because just in case. So, we got Evan Fournier, no, here, Garrett Garrison Matthews, Nick Alexander Walker, RJ Hampton. So, RJ Hampton, Nick Alexander Walker. I'll go ahead and sign Nick Alexander Walker to a minimum, then that'll be my offseason year. I'm not gonna bring my Charles Bassey. Going into player progression, Brunson, um, Mitch Robinson, Quentin Grimes, DiVincenzo, and that is all we got. So not a big player progression here. I'm gonna advance to the next season now. Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitch Robinson, Mayo Quickly, Caleb Barton, Josh Hart, DiVincenzo, and Jericho Sims out of the rotation, which he hasn't developed pretty good. So we're, we're gonna leave him out of the rotation. We have no backup center, which is kind of disappointing, but I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Anthony Edwards is your MVP. Matt is your rookie. With Scoot Henderson is your six man. Depoy going to Anthony Davis. Average 30, 12 and a half with two blocks per game. Very good season from Anthony Davis. I'm pretty sure LeBron is still there. Yes, he is. Wow. And this Laker team only made the playoffs. I mean, they lost the Angela Russell in the offseason, so pretty bad for them. They're in the play play in, but we are in the playoffs as the third seed. We've got to play the Miami Heat. So the Heat beat us last time um, in the playoffs. So they got Miles McBride as their starting point guard. So um, we get to play. We get to play Miles McBride again. So Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Love, Bam Adebayo, Achua, Omar, Josh Richardson, Nikola Jovic, Terrence Mann, and Mac. So here we go. Game one. And they take to um forty and ten from Tyler Hero on the right with three. So here we go. Can we win game two? No, we can't. Are we gonna sit here and get swept? Can we divorce um? Can we tie it up to two? No, we can't. We're, we're gonna see if we can force a game six, which um I, I don't know how we're losing to this Heat team, man. That like this New York Knicks team is very very good here. Hopefully we can pull it off here. Do not let them come back into this and they get the lead. So it's not looking too good here. No way we blow a lead like that. Come on, come on, come on. we gotta pull it off. Come on, and it's looking like we am gonna have to hop into this, ain't that? All right, man. Let's make sure we don't choke the game because we are up two with 18 points with the ball. Let's do not choke this. Okay, so Jalen Brunson with the ball and he gets up. If he makes the both of these, we should be fine. So Jalen Brunson free throw number one is good. So if he makes this one, we should be okay. We should be ready to go on to the next game. And he chokes, of course. So the lineup we have right now in is Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, um, I think it's not even Chento, then RJ Barrett, then um, yeah, so it should be that right there. So Jalen Brunson, DiVincenzo, and we should be fine here. So here we go. Let's see. And the uh, Miami Heat are going to go ahead and pass it to Miles McBride. So let's see what Miles McBride does. Will really he get his revenge and beat us here? So McBride passes it to K Love. K Love misses it. And Mick drops it with the rebound. And Miles McBride just fought out. So they might not have another point guard to sub in. And they put in Terrence Davis at point guard. Okay. So, um. 
Ah, Mitch Robson misses the first free throw. Do not choke again. Okay, he, he makes it. Okay. We need to get a stop here. We cannot afford to give up a three-point shot here. So, here we go. Kevin Love, Jimmy Butler. My gosh. Butler just absolutely fell <laughs> there right there. Okay, so Jadino Brunson gets fouled. Terrence Davis is starting as their point guard right now. Brunson, do not miss. Okay, he makes the first one. Make the second one. And the, my, uh, the Miami Heat are getting a lineup change, and they're playing Mac at the point guard. So I don't know what they're doing right now. A Tyler Hero just launches it, and he misses it, and that's game. Thank you, man. Let's go. We're forcing a game six. So, um, it's not over yet. Can we make it out of the first round and force a game seven? So, here we go. They want to get more minutes to Quentin Grimes, so they basically want to start Quentin Grimes, I believe so. And, um, no, they don't want to. So, Dante still in the starting lineup, which is fine, I guess. So, here we go. Um, it's a back-to-back -back scoring game. The, the Heat take the first quarter. They also, we take the second quarter, which is nice. And quickly, we're going to pull it off, and we do lose by so Okay. Huh, man, we should have hopped into that. I was a close one. So, 25 from RJ Barrett, 28 from Palo Hero, 6 rebounds and 12 assists. Man, we go out in the first round like that, not a great sign. So, Ed, I believe he just averaged 41 points in, like, the conference finals. So, Anthony Edwards, he he he's just playing too good, man. And... So, yeah, that's how, that's just how we lose right there. So, we go ahead and choke it in the first round, which is not great at all. We're going to have to make some big moves this offseason. So, um, here we go. Into the draft lottery here. I don't expect us to have a lottery pick or, like, a very, very good pick. And we have the 25th pick in the, in the draft, which is okay. I guess we could add another young player or we could trade the young player. So, we got the 20, 25th overall pick and a second, which is nice. So, we're going to go ahead and hop into the draft here. Um... But before draft night, if we can make a trade, or do we do it after draft night? I think we're going to do it after. So we're just going to go ahead and hop into the draft here. We're going to do it after. So I'm going to make a trade here to, to upgrade this team as much as possible. I guess we go ahead and draft the best player on the board here, and that is Asa Noel. So welcome to the team, Asa. Then we'll just go ahead and um, go to Rookie Center. We're going to sign our young rookie. Here we go. We, we're actually signing both of these guys, actually. They can be very good in trade. So Jalen Brunson declined this player option as well as Julius Randle, which we're going to have to pay the both of them this off season. So a lot of money is going to have to be paid here. So um, not great. Except the qualifying offer of Quentin Grimes is going to free agency here. So, we're going to have to re-sign Dylan Preston. We're going to have to re-sign Julius Randle, which is not getting a great offer. Quentin Grimes does the qualifying offer of Jericho Sims. So, Dylan Preston, $39 million to, uh, I don't know. So, um, we might not be able to pay Julius Randle and um, Jalen Preston. So, I should have thought of trading one of them or Julius Randle. So, um, I might not have to pay, like... Um, so RJ Barrett's gonna have to get an extension soon. So we're just gonna go ahead and pay them 39 million is that for Jalen Brunson. Oh, I guess I'll go ahead and give it to him. I'm gonna try and lower it a little bit to 38. I don't know how bad this is. It goes up to 51 million. I'll do it. And then Julius Randall asking for 31. Um, I'm gonna try to lower this as much as possible. Um, to like 20. I'll wait till my tournament is over to re-sign him to Jericho Sims. If he's willing to take a minimum, I'll go ahead and sign him. So, Jalen Brunson is back on the team. Um, I'm not gonna renounce anybody, but Nick Alexander Walker is fine. I'm not concerned about him. So, Jalen Brunson is back as well as Jericho Sims. And hopefully, um, Jalen Randall is getting any good offers, and he's not. So, gonna be my Jalen Brunson and Jericho Sims. And as soon as my tournament is over, Jules for Julius Randall is getting offers. So not pretty good offers. Once again, he's not interested in joining any of these teams for that amount of um money here. So um we're gonna re-sign Julius Randall here. Um how much does he ask for now? 31. I still don't want to swallow that down the drain. But Quentin Grimes will go ahead and sign to his contract, or he can maybe come back and qualifying offer, but I'll go ahead and sign him. We might be actually hard cap actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign Quentin Grimes to a nice fifty million dollar deal. And then Julius Randle, I'm going to win also. Quentin Grimes, welcome to the team. Um, just making sure Julius Randle's getting good offers. And he he got one more offer, but not too good. He wants to join OKC, but not pretty good offers. 
Squiad Day 12 and Julius Randle asking price. His asking price did not go down really at all. So he is getting offers, but he didn't sign with any of them, obviously. So here we go. Gonna have to actually it did go down to 26 million, which I'll go ahead and pay him 26 million, but he doesn't want a long term deal, it's looking like. So um I'll go ahead and offer him a three year twenty-six million dollar. I feel like that is fair um for Julius Randle, because we might end up trading him down the line. So Julius Randle, hopefully he can sign with us. Then if we can sign another player, I mean, we got a four the way it is right now um so here we go it's gonna bring back julius randall then we should be fine he does sign with us 85 million which is great for his level so um we get julius randall on a cheap contract julius um so our um minimum quickly rj bear does isn't developing really at all so if he doesn't have like a very good season this year i might look into the, to the idea of trading him to robinson quentin grimes caleb martin aaron bradshaw is developing really well so he might take over as that center for mitchell robinson one day aj johnson is up so Everybody's developing pretty nice, which is great. So your rotation is Jalen Brunson, Quentin Grimes, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Emmanuel Quickly, Hill Martin, Josh Hart, Aaron Bradshaw, DiVincenzo. So Aaron Bradshaw cracks the, cracks the rotation, which is nice. So that'll be your 10-man rotation. I guess I'll go ahead and run a 10-man. And now I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. If there's move to me at the deadline, I will do it because I got somebody in mind that we could trade for. Shea goes to Alexander's MVP. So, um, we end up being the first seed this time. So, we go ahead and choke out by the Heat, and we got to play the Heat again. They don't have, they no longer have Miles McBride starting. They got Karon Lewis, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Jay Crowder, Bam Adebayo, um, Precious Achula, Jalen Shafino, Omer, Giaro Saric, Nair Junior, Edmund Summer, Ty Jerome. So, it's going to go and seem like current round against them, and we do beat our revenge on the Heat, which is nice. I uh, didn't go through the rotation here, so we got 22 from Brunson, 70 half from Julius Randle, and 16 from RJ Barrett, with 15 from him quickly. So here we go, game one. So I didn't go through the Pacers. So the Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton, Berrick Mathurin, Isaac Okoro, Jairus Walker, Clint Capella, Jamal Murray, OG, Isaiah Jackson, Andrew Nimmer. So this team is pretty terrifying here. I don't know how they got Jamal Murray to sign, and he signed for a one-year deal, and then OG and Anobi signed for a match. How did they go? Okay, no, I don't want to know. So they take game one, they take game two, they take game three, and that's how we go out. Man, okay. All right. I'm not going to go like that. I'm not going to go getting swept. I'm going to make a wonderful trade to make this team back into contender, or at least don't go to the finals and win the championship. So all these guys retiring, which is sad to see, but honestly. Going to the draft lottery here, we have pick, uh, don't even know if we have a pick. We have pick 28, that's the first one I saw, so let me just make sure. So we do have pick 28 and 29, the second round. So I'm definitely going to try and make a trade here and improve this team in the best way possible. So we are in the off season, and I finally went ahead and made the trade. So let me give you a recap here. I, I um I, I signed Carson Ingram and BJ Davis. It isn't gonna show because I made a trade. We also went ahead and accepted the, team, the player options of most of these guys. Once again, it might not show most of them because he made a trade. Then we have no qualifying offers. So the trade I made is interesting. So what I did, I traded for Brandon Ingram, Quentin Grimes, DiVincenzo, Bradshaw, Aeson, um, Asa, then a first round, 2030 first round pick, and then Carson Ingram here. Reason why I did this is because um, these guys had very, very trade, very, very, very good trade value, so that's good. I hate the if of DiVincenzo, we had to did it. We, we had to do it to get the trade to go through, so we went ahead and got Brandon Ingram on the team, which I know what you're thinking, why why would you have Ingram and RJ Baird on the same team? Because they're both small forwards. We're going to move Ingram to the tune guard. Um, he does actually say the same, so we'll have a turning on after Brunson Ingram, RJ Bear, Julius Randle, and we and Mitchell Robinson. We have to make sure he comes back through. Mitchell Robinson, we're gonna give him a deal. He wants um I forget this is a fair deal. So Mitchell Robinson, welcome back. And then Jericho Sims. So we can only have a backup center. I mean Alex Star could play that, but Jericho Sims, if we can bring him back to like a minimum, I'll do it just in case. So Mitchell Robinson and Jericho Sims will come back to the team. And then that'll be your rotation. I mean, your starting lineup, basically. So how good and fun will starting lineup be? Jalen Brunson, Brandon Ingram, Archie Baird, Julius Randle, and Mitch Robson. How fun will that be, honestly? Um, 
But our bench is pretty good too. Um, we got Quickly, EJ Davis, Josh Hart, Caleb Martin, Alex Starr. So our bench is pretty good too. So I mean, the only thing I'll say is a backup shooting guard, but I think we're fine. Um, how many plays we have on our team? Thirteen. So it wouldn't hurt, honestly. So Kelly Oubre is here. He's asking for a little because um he's kind of he's not that good in his career anymore. Like DeAnthony Melton, Kier Silver, Malik Beasley. I mean Malik Beasley, honestly. I'll, I'm 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 giving him more than a minimum. I'll give him a two year five million dollars because I feel that's that's probably where it's gonna his value is gonna be right now so five million or five million and a half feel like that's weird so we're gonna give five million and a half for two years with um a team option that we can accept or decline so welcome to the team Malik Beasley he signs right away he he loved to be in New York obviously so we get Malik Beasley on the team which is very very nice here so our bench will be quickly Beasley Josh Hart Caleb Martin and Alex R Jericho Sims how fun is that so we're gonna go ahead and then skip to um, player progression here. Hopefully our guys will develop pretty good here. And um, what, I, what I also want to do here is probably move Dylan Mitchell to the four because um, he, he, he actually should go up, but I'm just going to leave it. So B.I. is down. Um, that's not... Not ideal, so we got AJ Johnson, Dylan Mitchell, Alex Sar, um, then yeah, player progression is pretty good. So here we go. Um, we're going to advance to the next season. Like I said, the rotation, Brunson, Ingram, RJ, Julius Randle, Mitch Robinson, Quickly, Caleb Martin, Josh Hart. Instead of playing AJ Johnson, I'm going to go ahead and play Malik Beasley. I, I want to play, no point of playing two shooting guards. So Malik Beasley going to get in the rotation, going to get 14 minutes. Then Dylan Mitchell is a small forward right now. Um, I'm thinking about putting like a backup center in to make the rotation even better. And that's probably what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put a backup center in. Dylan Mitchell is yet to play a single NBA game. But I'll put him in. I'm going to play Alex are because um his his tendency is up better and hopefully he can take more shots than Jericho Sims because Jericho Sims is not really that good in two case so I'll see you guys and most likely at the end of the season. Shay Gibbs Alexander is your MVP once again. So we are the number one seed in the East once again. So we got to play the Toronto Raptors, but going into our player stats, we got 22 from Brunson, 20 from Ingram, 16 and a half from Randall, 16 from Barrett, 15 from Quickly, and 14 from Caleb Martin. And if we go to our um, three point shooting sets, which was very good, Ingram shot 47, Caleb Martin shot 46, Jalen Brunson shot 44, Malik Beasley shot 42, 41 from Quickly. Um, 37 from RJ Barrett, 26. Like, like it was very good all around. And I noticed that uh, um, Alexander Saar could actually. He can shoot, so he can shoot. He, he can shoot pretty good. He can shoot some threes time to time. We got to play the Raptors. Cole Anthony, D'Lo, Corey Kisper, Pascal Siakam, Paul Turner, Yakum Pertle, Lou Dor, and Zach Collins. So they got a lot of bigs on their team for sure, that's to say. So here we go. Game one against them. We pick. We should be able to beat them in four. Actually, we should be able to sweep them. They do come back and watch the game seven, but we do win it. So that was kind of scary for a second. We got to play the Pistons. Kate Cunningham, Jay Nivey, Denny of D. Isaiah Stewart, Nicholas Pat Tomb. I mean, Nicholas Claxton, Jonathan Isaac, D'Anthony Mellon, Jim Williams, and Charles Bassey. Oh, I, I should actually um shrink our rotation, actually. It's sad to see Alex Sarr getting out of the rotation. He's actually playing pretty good. So let's actually see who's playing better. So Malik Beasley is playing pretty good. Six points per game, 60% from three. But um, he's also playing pretty good. 12 points, two threes, 14. He's playing pretty good. Alex Sar, um, I'll just keep going with what we have here, so game one, uh, they take, we tie it up 1-1, one, one. can we take the 2-1 lead, we can't quit the 3-1 lead, they tie it up 2-2. Two, two. We take the 3-2 lead, which is kind of nice, but can we close them out here in 6? We're going to have to use some cast. Can we close the Detroit Pistons out in 6? Um, the Pistons get really good in this round 2 game, and yeah, they're looking to take care of Miss before in game 7, so... Absolutely destroy us here by a lot, man. They, oh man, that's a, that's not that's we're going through a game seven. Jonathan Isaac with the ball passes it to Kate Cunningham. It's a close game here in game seven. Kate Cunningham thinks he's Dame, misses it, rebound RJ Barrett, and RJ Barrett gets fouled. That should do it. Just hope that RJ Barrett does not choke. Let's just hope he don't choke again like he did against the uh, the Cavs, I think it was. But here we go. Either number one is good or the Heat. The other number two is missed. So he did choke the second one. So just do not give up a three like you did against the Heat, man. 
Jesus Ivy. So Jaden Ivy pump fake finally shoots. He that, that was dumb, but here we go. We go ahead and win the NBA. I mean, we're going. Um, we're gonna we're gonna win a seventh. We're advancing to the conference finals, I believe. To play the Boston Celtics. So no more. Ooh, so they did bring back Jalen Brown. Usually in the videos they just let Jalen Brown go, and he's usually on like the Raptors or something. But they actually extended him and Porzingis. So I don't, I'm pretty sure Porzingis got his extension. But wow. Um. So they got they, but they don't have Malcolm Brogdon. So DJ Davidson, I, I I knew was someone they had to let go. So DJ Davidson's a starting point guard. Didn't expect that. Um. Robert Williams, Rudy Gobert, Tyrese Proctor, Malcolm Brogdon. They do still have. So never mind. Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Malcolm coming off the bench. They got a lot of big men. So that might be their advantage. So the Celtics have a pretty good team, honestly. So they got I'm a big men team. So I might pick a rotation. We'll see what happens. Game one, they take. Game two, we tie it up one one. They take the two one lead, which is it's not looking good. But we tie it up two two. Okay, so I'm I'm just looking to see how Malik Beasley's playing. Five points. Honestly, I might honestly sprinkle out He's getting zero points. Sorry, well, I'm not sorry, Malik Beasley, but you're out of location. I'm, I got got gotta give our guys more minutes, and they want to play AJ Johnson, which he was a actually getting minutes. I didn't realize, and he's playing some pretty good minutes. So he needs to get his efficiency or his field goal back up, and he'll he'll be good. So this rotation here, no backup center. I feel like we should be fine though. Can we take three two leads? No, we can't. The Celtics are too good. So what happened in the SimCast here, and we are forcing a game six. 20 from quickly, 21, 21, 21. There's 32 from Jason Day and 26 from Tyrese Price. So we're forcing a game seven. So what happened in Twitter here, just making sure you know, nothing happens, just so we don't choke. So here we go, just hit him with the ball, just a little crossover. Shoot over Brandon Ingram, shot, shots over Brandon Ingram, just not make it Brandon Ingram as fast. So if he makes at least one of these, I would really love, to have, love him to make two, but if he... Yeah, just make two free throws, Ingram, come on. Oh, well, we don't have a bonus, so never mind, but I'm pretty sure Ingram's gonna get the ball on the way. Yeah, he does. Jalen Brown fouls him. So, we should be looking to go ahead and come back from 3 2 or and win the series. Go to the NBA Finals. BI nails it. So, whatever the Celtics do here determines the game. I'm not hopping out of it just yet. The Celtics, they have one more chance, and they call a timeout. So many timeouts. All right, Boston, what are you guys gonna do? Let's see. Well, are, are they gonna give it to Brown, Tatum? They give it to um Tyrese Proctor. So they then they give it to Brown, gives it to Porzingis, and he gives it to Tatum. Tatum shoots that he nailed. How did he just make that? Like I'm 100% sure that it just said it was red and it was late. Uh, okay, I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on. I, <laughs> the Celtics are cheating, bro. But okay. New York with the ball, they foul Ingram. Ingram, don't sell. Make both of these free throws. And are they done call timeouts? Yeah, okay. There's no more timeouts. Ingram, stop. Ah, okay. Make the second one, please, B.I. B.I. nails it. Okay, so. Porzingis passes to Tatum. Tatum bringing the ball up. He's going to shoot it. I bet. A little spin move on RJ Barrett misses it. Rebound by Julius Randle, and that should do it. Let's go. We're going to the NBA Finals. Just making sure Julius Randle doesn't miss, and he absolutely missed that one. Okay, Julius Randle, bro. Do not, do not, just don't, buddy. 15 seconds left. Just make a free throw, which is not that difficult. Thank you. All right, so just making sure it's over here. Um, Tatum passes to Tyrese Proctor. He's done. So Proctor with the ball. Proctor passes to Porzingis. Porzingis one himself a little open, misses it. Rebound to Lee Randall. That is it. We run into OKC, so they have Shadius Alexander, Terrence Arcadiagado, Ron Holland, Jan William, Jed Holmgren, Jared Allen off the bench, Bruce Brown, the um, Baslay. It's a pretty good team. Ace Bailey, Jalen Noel, and Jasir Cunningham. It's a pretty good team. And OKC, like I said, we're a better team than this, so come on. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Oh, no. Um, we do actually get one game on them. Well, let's see what happens now. So they do take the 3-1 lead. Oh, my gosh. We get um we get two games on them, but can we force a game seven? We do force a game seven. I did hop into it, but I for but I didn't know it was recording, so we did force a game seven. 
one minute and 35 seconds left here. We're, we're, we got the lead, 113-109. Jacobs Alexander with the ball right now. Shavers, Jalen Brunson, kind of a mismatch there. And then, yeah, he just needs the easy layup. No, he misses it. That's very, very good. Jalen Brunson bringing the ball up. Jacobs Alexander has clamps on him right now. Jalen Brunson is in the mid-range area. No idea what he's doing right now. Take a, take a step back. B.I. with the ball, puts it up, misses it. So, um, I, I don't know what the game plan is here right now. But, um, Bruce Brown with the ball. So, Bruce Brown, I like that addition for them. So, Bruce Brown with the ball, brings it in. Jared Allen, Shaker Alexander pulls up for three, and he does make it. So, one-point game. Do not sell this, Knicks. Do not sell this, New York, man. It's a winner-go-home game. I don't think we'll be back here next year. Just saying. So, here we go. B.I. with the ball. Um, B.I., what are you going to do? Please do something, because we, we need something. B.I., mid-range, mid Jay, no good. Okay, it might, it might be over. Oh, 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 man, okay. Bruce Brown with the ball again. The same exact play. It's looking right away. No, it's not. Okay, so Bruce Brown um, at the corner, screened by Jared Allen. Bruce Brown passes it to Shea. Shea versus Jalen Brunson. Shea, this. No, oh, he, he misses it. Okay, so we have a chance here. Hopefully, the OKC Thunder will foul when yes, they do. Yep. Dumb. And it's not a bonus, so the Knicks call timeout and they have to foul again. Alright, so um, Mitch Robinson bringing the ball up here. Do not choke because I'm going to keep saying it. Not sell. And BI with the ball. BI. Do not miss, buddy. Do not. Okay, just beat Ben Ingram, bro. The, 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 the game's on the line. The finals on the line. Thank you. Okay, so be the number two. BI. Do not miss it, buddy. He makes it. Let's go. BI. Clutch. Just keep being clutch, Brandon. Let's go. Jalen Williams is the ball right now. Passing the ball. He passes it to Arthur Yagro. So, so he, it, see what he does here. Passes it to Shea. Shea versus quickly. That's definitely a Mitch match. This is, this is not fair. That's, but Shea misses it. Read on Julius Randle. Let's go. We could be getting home. We could be going home with a ring here. Coming back from 3 1. The first team to do this is LeBron James. Randle feed though number one is good. And Julius Randle feed though number two is good and that should be game we win the NBA finals let's go let's go we're officially NBA champions the finals MVP is Julius Randle Enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye bye